Welcome guys back to another video on the channel. Today we are doing our Premier League predictions for match day one of the Premier League. We are back again with another Premier League predictions video and that's this is of week one. It was only yesterday I feel like that I did week 38 of Premier League predictions but we are back again with a new video, with a new season and we're going to get underway. If you haven't already, join the Fantasy Premier League team because we will be um, giving shout outs to the top of the league a person uh, in these videos so that's a good way to get you guys involved. Um, and uh, yeah, leave your thoughts about these predictions I'm going to give in the comment section down below and let's get straight into it. First one is Fulham versus Arsenal. My team, Arsenal, going to Craven Cottage to play their first opening game against Fulham in the Premier League. The last outing at Craven Cottage two years ago did end in a win for Arsenal. I'm not going to talk too much about this game in this video because there is a separate video because obviously Arsenal is my team. I'm doing a separate video for the match preview, full predicted lineup for Arsenal for Fulham versus Arsenal. But I think in this game, I think it will go Arsenal's way. They have a very good record against promoted teams and especially promoted teams on the opening day of the season. So I do believe Arsenal will win this one and I do think Arsenal will win this one quite comfortably 3-1. So the next game we will be predicting is Crystal Palace versus Southampton. Southampton will be going to Selhurst Park to face Crystal Palace. And now in this game, it will be very interesting to see what happens because Southampton looks like they haven't replaced Pierre-Emil uh, Hoiberg, who was a key part of Southampton's team that, you know, did quite well towards the latter end of last season. And, you know, he was a good supplement for Danny Ings' goal. And I think Danny Ings is a very prolific striker and could help Southampton on to very good things. I didn't predict Southampton to do very well this season because of that main reason of Hoiberg. But maybe Danny Ings can carry uh, Southampton to finish higher than what I predicted them to and it looks like they are going to be doing quite good business they are brought in Kyle Walker-Peters and looking to bring in others also Crystal Palace they've just brought in Eze now Eze he has done very well in the championship but it will be very uh, interesting to see whether he can perform in the Premier League at the highest level so it will be very interesting to see our two very good tri strikers face up against each other but I do think this is going to be a very interesting game in a game which I think could end and I think will end 2-2. Two, two. Next game in the Premier League is West Ham versus Newcastle. Now, I think this is a very interesting game because I thought Newcastle would get relegated, but some of the signings they've made this season, you know, in this transfer window have been actually very good. Callum Wilson, Premier League proven striker, very prolific for Bournemouth, even though they did get relegated. And Ryan Fraser, who, again, a very good wide player and could really help Newcastle, you know, score goals, which is why they have brought those players in to score more goals for them so they can elevate them higher up in the table. But you have to be mindful, those were players that were in a relegated Bournemouth team so maybe they are a bit rusty maybe they're not going to be as up to scratch as maybe Newcastle fans think according to what uh, in regards to West Ham they just lost uh, one of their best youngsters in Dion Garner um, Felipe Anderson doesn't look very good on that left hand side so they could struggle maybe but Felipe Anderson could maybe turn into his own and maybe do very well this season um, you know some of the strikers you know uh, Halla you know he really needs to do much better this season it's not been very good for him and West Ham they really haven't made that many signings Thomas Suchek they've made permanent which is quite good for them other than that I don't think they've really done anything well, quite good to you know think that they would be higher than what they are already you know they were in a relegation scrap last season and considering what they've spent in the last few years on the likes of Haller on the likes of Felipe Anderson and now on Thomas Suchek you would do, you would think that they would do much better but they haven't and it's been quite disappointing from West Ham but in this game against Newcastle again I do think Newcastle will win this one you know I have very much renewed hope for Newcastle and I, and I do think these players that they have brought in including Jamal Lewis who is set to join Newcastle as well from Norwich City and I do think they will help them Newcastle propel much higher and I do think Newcastle will win this one 2-0. Next game is very interesting in my opinion it is Liverpool versus Leeds United the champions of the Premier League versus the champions of the championship a very good game to start off the Premier League season not really at the start but in the opening day of the Premier League season uh, at 5 30 in UK time so it will be very interesting to see how Leeds actually line up they've signed a very quality uh, European proven striker and Rodrigo very good acquisition for Leeds this season along with uh, Cooch they've signed uh, from Freiburg a very good addition also and they have brought in Sam Greenwood from Arsenal so you know they are building a very good team and a very good experienced team that can challenge in their Premier League so they can stay up this season but again you can't look past Liverpool can you champions of the Premier League they look very good Jurgen Klopp will be pushing them on to do very well this season try and go for another title possibly so I do think Liverpool will comfortably win this one for the fact that you know, 
they have so much quality and maybe Leeds wouldn't cope I mean, you know, uh, they faced Norwich as well this time last season you know they got a spanking from Liverpool and you know Liverpool just showed, just showed Norwich what the class and the golfing quality will be between the Championship and the Premier League and I think Liverpool, and I think Leeds will have the same sort of outing as Norwich did a year this time one year ago so it'll be very interesting maybe Leeds will make a push and I do think they will score one or two goals I'm very interested to see Rodrigo actually who they signed from Valencia will he fit in quickly how will he adapt to the Premier League because he has been proven at the top level he's done really well for Valencia but can he do it in the Premier League that is a whole different kettle of fish especially when you are trying to survive the Premier League in a very different team maybe Marcelo Bielsa wants more than just to survive the Premier League he wants to do more but that is a question for another day but in this game specifically I do think Liverpool will comfortably win this one and I will give them a 4-1 win next game is West Bromwich Albion versus Leicester City now again a very good game to, uh, on opening day of the Premier League uh, West Brom who have just brought in Z and Ghana from West Ham who we were talking about earlier they all have a lot of hope going into this a very good side I do think you know they do need to improve a bit more because they haven't got really a Premier League proven side you know uh, quite a few of their players were here when they last got relegated a few years ago so I do think West Brom do need to add a few more players they are going up against a very good Leicester City side who are you know very much at the foot of the table sorry not the foot but at the head of the table if you were to say and they're doing very well in the Premier League last season but they did slip to fifth and uh, you know Leicester City have made good additions in Castagna looking to bring in Gozens as well and a few others to help their team move forward and I do think Leicester City will win this one quite comfortably I do think again same as, same with us to Leeds you know big goal for quality between Championship and the Premier League West Brom you know they have been in the Premier League before a few years ago so they'll know that very well and uh, Leicester City they just need to do as well as they can on the opening day and I do think they will and I do think they will beat West Brom and in terms of the scoreline of this again I'm not too sure uh, maybe Leicester will turn up maybe they're not you know you know we saw last season Bournemouth got relegated but they did end up beating Leicester 4-1 towards the end of the season However, I do think Leicester City will win this one, but I will give them a 1-0 win in this one. Next game is Tottenham Hotspur versus Everton. Again, a very good game to start off the season. And uh, this is going to be played Sunday 4.30 in the last game on Sunday. And uh, I do think uh, Everton ha are starting to build a very good team under Carlo Ancelotti, bringing, uh, you know, they've just announced James Rodriguez at the time of recording. They've brought in Allen, close to signing Decore. They're, they're looking to sign Fernando Llorente. They're looking to sign some other players. So, you know, they're really making that midfield look very strong under Carlo Ancelotti. And the players that he is bringing in are trusted. He knows Alan, he knows Rod uh, James Rodriguez. Like I said, Decore, they're players that are Premier League proven. They've done it in the Premier League, so they know what it's like. And I think for Everton, they're starting to build a really good team. I still think they need to do more, especially in some of the wide areas, because, you know, Richarlison at the moment is carrying them in terms of the goals. So maybe they need to add in terms of that. But, you know, they will have quite a bit of pressure on them because spending so much money and then not doing quite well because they did finish 12th so they really need to step up their game um Everton and hopefully they can beat Spurs because who doesn't want to beat Spurs it's very fun they have added Hoiberg they've added Doherty again two players I do think are bang average but I do think are Premier League proven players which is something Jose Mourinho wants to bring into the side and I think he wants to improve those kind of players to become you know so they can become world-class players that is what Mourinho is very good at but I do think Everton will win this one come on Everton beat Spurs who doesn't want to beat Spurs and it will give Everton a 2-1 win in this one next game is Brighton versus Chelsea now Chelsea as we all know have you know signing so many players I'm not, I'm not going to start naming them Chilwell, Silva, Kayaba, Timo Werner, Hakim Ziyech looking to sign Edward Mendy as well from Rennes so they are building such a good squad I don't have to sit here and name all of them and their qualities you guys know that because you guys see Chelsea go and spend so much money in the transfer market if you look at net spend which is what some people like to look at they've not actually spent that much because they've got Hazard and Morata money and uh, money from you know being in the Champions League last two years but they've not been able to spend that because it's a transfer ban and Brighton also have done their a good little bits of business signing the likes of Ad Adam Lallana again primarily proven will allow a, a Graham Potter to rely on players like that in the midfield to help them uh, through games and try and win games for them and they have signed the likes of Veltman and uh, they are looking to add more players so I do think under a very promising manager under a very promising core of players you know like young players like Mope uh, who can get them goals uh, are quite a good uh, quite a good number of goals and hopefully they can kick on and do much better this season 
I have high hope for Graham Potter. I know he is a great manager and hopefully he can help Brighton on to great things. But again, I just cannot look past Chelsea. Who, you know, I can't look past Chelsea in this game against Brighton. And I do think Chelsea will win this one quite easily once again. And I do think Chelsea will win this one 3 0. Last game of the Premier League for this match week before we get onto the postponed games is Sheffield United versus Wolves. Again, a very interesting game. And I think this will go very unnoticed because, you know, teams will be, uh, you know, p- p- people will be fo- focusing on the other big teams. But Sheffield United versus Wolves, two teams that actually did very well last season. Sheffield United being very much up there, you know, in the European places, but did slip away. Same with Wolves because Arsenal did win the FA Cup, meaning Wolves did not get any European football and they did not win the Europa League. So very unlucky for them. But again, these two teams not having Europe, it will very much help them because using their qualities that we did very much see last season, we'll be hoping to kick on. And, you know, Sheffield United not playing every three days. Same with Wolves because both of them don't really have big squads. And I do think they will be, you know, very much in the race, you know, going up there for Europe and doing trying to push on the season. With Wolves, they've added a £40 million strike. I'm not too sure how that guy, how good that guy is. And they've also added Marcel. Sheffield United have permanently sorted out that goalkeeper position in signing Aaron Ramsdale. Probably going to be their biggest signing, but a very important signing because it does give them long-term security in that position. I do think Ramsdale is a very good goalkeeper. And uh, yeah, Wolves, I do think, have much more quality in terms of Sheffield United. But I do think in the way these teams play, they're quite similar. But I do think Wolves will win this one and I do think they'll win this uh, 2-1. Looking, going back and looking at the postponed games now, these games are going to be played a week later on the next match day. So we'll brief them again in this part of the video next week. And that is Burnley and Manchester United. Again, Man United, you know, Man United and Man City are going to look at while playing in Europe. So they do have their games pushed back another week to give them more rest and time to prepare. So uh, Man United versus Burnley. Again, Burnley, they haven't really done much in the transfer market. Really not, you know, added much quality players to what they already have but they have a good young a good young no I won't say young but a very good experienced bunch of players who can really turn up on their day and really hurt Manchester United in in a bad way but I do think Man United do have a lot of quality adding Donny van der Beek you know they got Bruno Fernandes who will probably push on and do much better this season and people do have high high hopes for him so uh but you know you can't look past Manchester United in this game so I will give them uh quite a comfortable 3-1 win here in terms of the other game Manchester City versus Aston Villa now you know there is only one winner Man City again same like Chelsea not as much as Chelsea but still spending quite a lot of money Nathan Ake a very good centre back looking to sign Koulibaly Ferran Torres replacing um, Leroy Sane so again Man City are looking very serious this season and going to make a, tri- a title challenge along with the likes of Liverpool and Chelsea so they would once again to a winning start you know they have spanked uh, Aston Villa last season well was it like 6-0 or something so I do think they will hurt Aston Villa a lot you know City will be a bit rusty so I don't think they'll beat them like 6-7-0 or anything like that Aston Villa again very good team got a lot of good players looks like they are holding on to Jack Grealish so they could try and go for this game but again when you go head to to, to City there's only one result you get beat so I do think Manchester City will win this game and I do think they will win this one 5-1 why not let's go for a big score in this match day that is it these are my Premier League predictions for match week one what do you guys think of these predictions leave them in the comment section down below do you think uh, do you disagree with them do you agree with them leave your thoughts in the comment section down below i will try and respond to as many as i can obviously at school and that so may may not be able to respond to all of them but i will listen to quite a few of them and uh, make sure to join my fantasy premier league team as i told you in the start of this video and i will be giving shout outs to the top of the league position uh, in every uh, game week so it's a good opportunity to give yourself a shout out in a video and it's a very good way for you guys to get involved so that is it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed see you guys in the next one bye bye